Someone is targeting cats in the Miami suburbs, both strays and backyard cats like these. Dozens of incidents starting in May. Alicia Glatzer rushed out of her home on a Saturday morning after her husband found their cat Sarah dead. Outside, and we find Sarah lying on the ground over here. Her body was found here, at which point we just assumed that she was hit by a vehicle. But it was intentional. Sarah had been sliced open, mutilated. And half of her face was missing. There was no blood anywhere. So we are dealing with someone that's methodical, calculating, knows exactly what he or she is doing. Police say they've increased patrols and are seeking leads, but so far, no suspects. So residents are trying to put the message out. What this person that I know of, person or persons that's committing this crime, hasn't given any indication that this is some sort of a threat uh, where this person's going to commit these crimes against a human being. In other words, uh, there haven't been any threatening uh, types of activities to lead us to believe that this is some sort of a scare tactic. But on the quiet suburban streets, there is fear that whoever is now targeting cats won't stop there. These are 30, almost 30 cats. And what happens after that? Where do we go from there? It's, it is scary. Community donations have raised a reward that is now over $12,000. Police say they hope that will bring forth the tips needed to catch a cat killer. Tony Winton, the Associated Press, Miami.